Hello there. I'm Refight. Welcome back to my channel. Um, you may also know me as Aiko if you're from Discord, or maybe Nin PB if you're from Reddit. So I'm just remaking my old video, beginner guide for custom cards, because that video is a bit outdated, and I also didn't have a proper microphone, so my voice. Is really bad at that video so yeah I'm just gonna want to remake it and make sure it's better than my last video so yeah let's get started to what is custom cards so in my definition custom cards can be anything from a non-official card that you may change you know the aesthetics the looks of the cards no matter the fonts um, the borders, the art, anything of these counts as custom cards. Or it could be a new card that is not official. Like a new whole skill, a new whole unit that doesn't exist in the official game of Cardfight Vanguard or whatever TCG you're making. But for this instance, I'm just making Cardfight Vanguard. So yeah, this video will of course be only about Cardfight Vanguard apparently so yeah now that we know what custom cards is now we need to choose what template to use if we want to make our own custom card so there are two ways currently that i know of to make custom cards the first one being mse or magic set editor it's an old program um mainly made for magic cards but someone from Discord named Kinney make a template that could be used for Magic Set Editor to make Vanguard cards. And then we have my template, my Photoshop template. It's pretty updated regularly, so yeah, I'm pretty excited to share and talk about it again. So what template should you use? That's a question that you should know. So I'm going to quickly open up a picture. So this is the quality comparison between the two templates. So the left side is my Photoshop template and the right side is the MSE template. So as you can see, I have an order, I have two donations here, and I have a unit, also a donation, and a comparison between a collaboration card with Muse Slash and a normal order that was made on Embassy. The main thing you can notice is um, the custom stuff. As you can see, I have donations and the MSE doesn't have donations. This is really important to note that MSE does not support donations yet. Another thing, as you can see, if we zoom in, you can see that the quality is a lot different. Um, the Photoshop template is clear and it's not even vector, it's just, you know, bitmap, but it's a lot more high definition compared to the MSC template that uh, it's pretty blurry and pixelated. But, so as you can see, you might want to choose the Photoshop template, but that's not all to consider because the way they work is a lot different. So, personally, I want you to take a short look at the MSE first before deciding if you want to use the Photoshop template or not. Even if I'm the creator of the Photoshop template, I still sometimes suggest people to use the MSE template. And we will see why. So, let's go to Magic Set Editor. I'm going to create a new set. And you can create any type of art. You can do Overdress or V Premium. This template doesn't support premium yet, and it also supports music for mis- Oh, not music dash. Oh my god, Bang Dream. Sorry, I just played too much rhythm games, and my brain goes like booga booga. Let's go music dash. I mean Bang Dream. So let's open up a quick overdrive set, and here we go. The software might look a bit sketchy or like outdated, but it works fine. 
so first of all you greet it with this you know hard screen and then we have like this thing here so this is where we put the set one thing that i really like magic set editor is that you can work on multiple cards on only one file because it's called a set so that means you can create a whole set like a booster set and put it all in one file and then have all of them in one file it's really useful it is space efficient and it's easier to work if you want to make a whole arch type um this template is also really fast compared to working on my photoshop template the reason being that it's automatic so if you type auto in all caps you can see that it changed from the auto to an icon then i can buy two brackets up uh, one bracket for the opening and then vc and then two brackets for the closing make that you know squared bracket style thing and then i can do colon and then i can start fighting skills like when this unit is attack blah 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 or when this unit attacks you can write whatever you want to be honest when this unit attack cause and you can see it just made that square for me and yeah that's most things you need to know you can also um click and change grade if you click grade 3 it does a lot of things automatically for you it changes trend drive it does add personal right for you i can double click to load an image let's see let's go to cut ep2 and let's choose this image and you can see that it ch you can select stuff with it you can select the zone you want to choose okay this is fine for me i'm just gonna click okay and you just add a really good looking image of course um this still applies to the quality comparison that when you export it it's gonna get blurry no matter how good your you know image is you can also you know change the clan and do the race and yeah you can do a lot of stuff and then like i said this is a set so you can make a new card and click an add card and there we go we just made a new card and yeah that's a lot of stuff too. um it also has like i said the auto replace you can click eat it and auto replace and you can see that what it means what does what this is really useful for you you know what does what there's like jika there's cons and there's cars that does the symbols for you so make sure what to use and what to know and yeah that's the msc template the good thing about msc template is it's really quick it does things automatically for you um so. and it also puts a lot of cards in one file as a set so it's easier to work with if you're making a whole arch type and also space efficient the downside is that you're limited so you're stuck with what you have you cannot do anything more than this you may add like a few image that is like icons but some people do have trouble adding icons take this bang oops take this bang dream as an example you can see that the icon is squish and yeah that's what happens on embassy sometimes when you add image that you add by your own and as you know the quality is bad i cannot talk it to look better it's it is bad there's no way to say it's good but i still recommend it if you need to work on a lot of cards you need to do a whole ash type and you want to be fast you don't want to spend like 30 minutes making one card that's the photoshop template takes a lot more time 
So here we go back to the Photoshop template. The Photoshop template is made by me and also a friend called Koreshin Mosu. He is from the Thai community. He made the Thai template version of um, our doors. And then I changed all the icons, updated all of it to be in English. And that's why we have this English template. Sadly, Koreshin Mosu didn't decide to continue his template. So now I'm the only one continuing this template and that's why we have donations and all these new icons. So yeah, let's talk about the Photoshop template. So first of all, you of course need Photoshop. Not if you know you have a website called photop.com. This website is basically Photoshop, but on a browser. So it's really useful to know that this exists. If you don't have Photoshop, don't be scared to use this website. It's free. It might have ads on the side, but I mean, it's free. So why would you care? Okay, so back to my Photoshop template. So you need to do a bit manually on these things. So as you can see, these images, they are icons. You need to move them by yourself. So are these packets, so are these R and G. So let's say I want to move this reward rest to the front because that's how it works. And you click on it using the move tool and move it to the front. And yeah, you need to know like where to move it. You don't need to be like pixel perfect, but you should be pretty accurate and consistent on what you do because else it would look weird if you know like this act and one turn are not on the same y axis so yeah as you can see you need to be manually do stuff you also need to do the text by yourself um that's why it's not the best way if you need to be fast and need to mass produce custom cuts but what I reward you from this template is that it's updated, it has donations, it's really high quality, and it has like all the new icons, see world dress, warden, overdress, dress, boost, x address, twitter, all the templates, you know, it also support like some fun features like making a stride for our dress, even though that's a bit weird, I do support it for some reason. And yeah, uh, at this instance, this is Photoshop. You're pretty free to do whatever you want. You can add new icons without needing to worry about it getting weird and stuff. So yeah, that's why this template is recommended if you're a perfectionist, if you care quality over quantity, or if you're fine with working on a card for like at least 15 minutes per card because personally i take like 15 minutes sometimes if i care less i don't be like be pixel perfect i can do shorter than that but that's my usual time not 15 minutes and yeah so that's the two templates choose whatever you like but i recommend that so what next you need to know is about illustrations or image so let me introduce you to Pissif, one of my favorite websites for searching art so pissif.net you go in it has some random recommended books for you even though you never went into the website you will still have some random recommended stuff as you can see i have a Mega Man recommendations. I don't know why. I only search Mega Man like twice, I think. And now it thinks I like Mega Man. But like, okay. And you see, there's a lot of good stuff. There's Duncan Runpa over there. So yeah, you can search a lot of art. Just find what you need. Let's say I want to find a witch. A what witch? And then make sure to select one with like 
Japanese or Chinese ones. This one. It's a Japanese website, so it's Japanese. Click on it. And then you should have a few illustrations or arts you can choose from. However, of course, not all arts are high quality. This one is pretty good. This one is just little drawn on paper and captured by a phone, I think. So one thing to do is you can click on top again and it show the six popular works. However, this is a bit risky because some works are not original. By original, I mean it's from, you know, um, anime series, manga series, or from another game, from something that is not an original character. But you can also click this tag. We'll see original character and you get plenty original stuff too. Or you could search original. Oops, it doesn't come up. Yep, you search original and click on it and you get all. Sometimes it doesn't because some people don't know how to use this tag. But mostly you get original stuff, as you can see. None of these I do recognize on any series, anime, manga, and some art are pretty lewd, so be careful for that. Even if you have the R18 option off, you still will find something that is borderline. Um, or else, if you do use PCF already, then you're in luck because. It's a lot easier work with Pacific Premium because you can sell by popularity and get better stuff. Because if it's popular, then it probably means it's high quality. Like this image that can quickly probably a really good image for like you know Shadow Paladin witches or Oracle witches. I don't know could work on both and if you find a good artist you can also go in and look at the image because probably you will see some art related to an archetype you're making don't forget to copy the name and put them in the illustrations edit like i did with this template i put rosary art in here so i did put a credit there yeah, stuff and yeah, I think that's all for getting started to making custom cards. Um, you also can use other websites, of course, other than Pacific.net. This is only a website I recommend because it's easy to use and it's mostly Japanese artists. But if you're not to that style, I suggest you go to like Divan Art. That's also a good website to get. A more western style art don't use pinterest it sucks and it doesn't even credit the original illustrator so you see even art or pacific.net or any other art websites you can even use rule 34 if you want to but like dude, why would you find a rank got illustrations on rule 34 so before I end this video, just a few recommendations that is not about the templates. When making a card, um, you should think of what you want to make, not the like, you know, aesthetics of the archetype. Like, if you think like I'm gonna make some night cards, that's not a good way to start because now you're gonna fix to like, hmm. So what can I do to match a knight? And sometimes you don't know what skill to make. So what I suggest first is think of concept skills. So like this one, the concept skill was to, you know, be able to counter attack on your opponent's end phase and to be able to defend. So its skill looks more like Kita Sanctuary. So I'm pretty fine to make it to a Knight Ash type. This one too, also this one, Erana, this was a lot earlier than this card. Um, 
it, it also is a knight because it counter attacks so that's why we have this but sometimes that's not how it works you need to have other things in mind um like okay th like this one is about like stock here because it's about the dk markers and they make like you know nature stuff so because the concept is about um lowering your opponent power by placing markers something close to cradle markers that's greater than that hmm, it's pretty good to make it stock here and make it like nature team and that's why i made the card for them and they're like okay this looks good it's an awesome by Oloid, as you can see so yeah the fundamentals is thing of skill or before the skill maybe a concept and if you have the concept then you maybe can find like okay after the concept what kind of image art illustration do i want and then just start going in you also need to sh make sure that the concept actually works with Minecraft because if it's too wacky it might not work well it might become a mess so like I have this the Shiki archetype the one I made a video featured on it's a really unique um skill type and so because i don't have anyone to play test with doing the creation of this archetype because i was in america and i had no friends that play vanguard cut cut for vanguard at that time I, I let someone in a discord server test it for me and they actually said it works fine so i was relieved that it works fine it's just a, it's a little weak compared to some decks so it's fine as you can see I change my regards with the opponent and do some token calling with so stuff it's a bit complicated and I wasn't sure at all if it would work because it was really out of my gut style to swap regards but I was glad it works fine but yeah these are some basic guides to get started making cards and so if we decide to use my photoshop template i have a video um in my channel that just says how to use my photoshop template to make cards and you know if you use the msc template um it's pretty self-explanatory you can probably go in by yourself if you do have questions you can go and ask in the comments I would try to answer them but because i'm not the creator of that template it might take a while because i would probably need to ask my friend that made the template kenny from discord but anyways hope you enjoyed this video if you're just watching this and i want to make your own photoshop but you can just click the video that is probably coming up right now and see you in the next video probably explaining on my new archetype surely that is coming out yeah